Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. When I first heard that this book was coming out, my initial response was Yay, 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 new Cassandra Clare book! <clears throat> and I love Holly Black as well, she wrote The Spider Rock Chronicles and Coscoll and Coal Town and she is amazing and so is Cassandra Clare Black. Cassandra Clare and she's like Cassandra Clare is my favourite author. She wrote The Mortal Instruments and The Eternal Devices and Bane Chronicles and all of the Shadow Hunter series, which is my favourite series ever. Um, I'm actually meeting them both in a couple of weeks and I was so excited. <laughs> Before I read this book, I was told that it was like Harry Potter and I can understand why people would say that. On the very top level of the book, it is about a boy that doesn't really know his background and his kind of magical background that goes to a place to learn to do magic. Um, Harry Potter. When you actually read more into it and more about the story, it's not. It's completely different. The characters are different, the story is different, the way the magic is done is different, the way they learn the magic is different, and it's a different world, it's a different story. So um, I would recommend it. Do not get put off if you've heard that as one of the reviews. Before you stick around any longer, if you haven't read the book, this is going to probably be a bit spoilery. So maybe go read it and then come back but I would recommend it so please go pick it up please please this is the first book in a series of books start off with the main boy Callum Hunt who is about to do his entry exam to the to the magic school place and he doesn't really know much about his magic background other than his his mum died because of it and his dad has told him that he has to do everything that he possibly can to fail this exam and not get into the school obviously as much as he does try this doesn't work and he gets accepted and he gets put in his group with his master that's going to teach him and his dad's furious his dad's not very happy about it so Callum goes to the magisterium to learn about the magical world now i genuinely like i spoke to my friend who's read this book and she said that she thought Callum was that paranoid because of the way that he acted about Callum going into the thing but at the start of the book in the prologue preface thing, um, his, you see the war that killed his mum and Callum's there and his legs been destroyed but she is written in the ice, she's carved into the ice, kill the boy and that's shown straight away in the book and it's not something we find out halfway through the book or near the end of the book, it's shown straight away, we've constantly got this in our head and I, with something like that and seeing something like that, I can understand why it's sad be a bit worried I think there's more than they're telling us and we've got this in our head so I didn't think his dad was being paranoid I think his dad was being very smart about a potential dangerous situation that his son could be put in I really liked Callum as a character I thought he was nice I liked that we got to see the really good sides of him for example when he let Warren go and when he rescued Havoc and brought him into the magisterium because I like the fact that we are seeing the good sides of Callum because of how it ends want to know that he is good and that he has good inside of him and that he can use that good and when he wants to go and rescue Aaron and when he does these things and he knows what is right and that is a good thing that I think they were showing a lot through the book all these things about Callum and all these good qualities of him because it shows that he is capable of like feeling sorry and love and friendship and he has all these good qualities inside of him. And I liked that Aaron was the um, sort of like one the saviour kind of person because normally it is the main person and when we when we found um Alice's note to Master Rufus saying please buy Callum's magic I thought that it was gonna be that Callum had this power that he could fight off all the dark evil and that he could fight off the enemy of death who has vanished it sort of led it to be like Callum had the power to be able to fight and defeat him so I liked that it was Aaron and it was actually kind of like a sidekick because that never really happens and I liked that. Fear of Constantine who is the enemy of death. This book has a very 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 big twist at the end of it where we find out that actually Constantine has died but his soul has gone into Callum as he was a baby when they were in the cave during the war. I didn't want this to be a thing, it did make me cry a bit when, and like tear up and like no 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 that was how I spent my Sunday morning and it made a lot of sense when they had the prophecy and the prophecy said one of you is already dead 
Constantine to Callum, but Drew was like, are you sure it's a good idea to tell everyone about the prophecy? And he was like, why wouldn't it? And then Drew is like genuinely confused, he's like, you don't know who you are, do you? But I don't think that this Constantine is in Callum. One, he doesn't have any recollection of anything, and I think that he would have, like a slight, like a slight remembrance of something, but he doesn't, he doesn't remember a thing until he's shown the memories. Um, by Joseph but also like I said before he's got this good inside of him he's a good person and he does all of these things and he shows all of these feelings which somebody that wasn't like that wouldn't be able to show but maybe maybe his soul maybe his soul did go into him a bit but into someone else as well or maybe it's just a trick to try and make them feel like it, it's him um, I don't know, but I have faith in Cassandra Clare and the way that she writes and her stories and stuff to make me think that actually, no, there's a lot more to it than that. Obviously, the next four books are going to be discovering this, and it's going to be that Aaron has to fight him. If he is the thing, then it's going to be the two best friends fighting, even though he's agreed to be his partner, and it's going to be a mess, and I don't like it. The ending I was not expecting and it has kind of made me really excited for the next one like I just sort of want to know what happens and um, like learn more and I want Callum to be okay like I really like him as a character not many people have said they like him but I did I enjoyed his character and like I understood why I didn't think he does. I also liked that he had his leg that didn't work as much because like he's the hero hero but well, like, the, you know, the main person that's supposed to, like, save the day and stuff, but he can't do it as well as everybody else because he can't run really fast or climb things and he has to think of other ways to do it, and I enjoyed that. Like, when they were trying to save Aaron and he had to just distract him um, instead of being able to climb anything or run away, and I liked that we have, like, a main protagonist and a hero that has the kind of, like, disability and, you know, is not able to do as much as everybody else, every other hero that's, like, you know, able to just you know, throw things and save the world. Callum can, Callum is good, uh, but you know, he still has these things. And I like that with Cassandra Clare, um, that she does write about topics like that. They, that like both of them, they chose the things like that and they bring real life situations into fantasy worlds, which she's always done. And I think Holly Black has done that as well. Um, and I like that kind of writing style that they have taken real life situations um, and they did it with like Tamara and her family and Aaron and not having any kind of family and stuff and bringing them into fantasy worlds so that you know they're still there they exist these, these problems exist and just because it's a fantasy world doesn't mean they shouldn't but we're gonna work through it and we're gonna be good anyway we're gonna be okay anyway you know and I like that I like that they always do that this book pretty much was just a kind of introduction to the characters to the story to a kind of idea of what's going to happen next and what the next one's going to be like and it left us hanging on a lot of information but not enough um, so there isn't really much more to say in it basically he went to a magic school and then find out, found out that he was an enemy of death that's what happened in this book um, but yeah I liked the characters um, Jasper annoyed me I think there's going to be a lot more to Jasper than it's let on at the moment I really really enjoyed this book individually both their writers are amazing together they are brilliant and I cannot wait to meet them and see what they've got to say about the book and yeah, I'm very excited. So yeah, what did you guys think of the Iron Trial? Did you like it or did you not like it? There's been lots and lots and lots of mixed reviews. Are you excited for the new ones or did you really not like it at all? Like I said, there's been lots of controversy. I hope you guys liked this video, thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing really, really, really well and I will see you next week for a new video. Bye!